when you are editing your video in adobe premiere pro sometime you need to use images right but if you use the images in a static form it will not look good if you can add some motion with this image then your audience will like it right so today i'm going to show you how you can use the images in adobe premiere pro so that it has some motion maybe a zooming motion or panning motion with the images so here i have already opened a project and on this project i want to add some images right to add the images i need to go to here on this folder and i want to use these two images just click and drag this image here now if i want to use this one i have to click and drag it here on the timeline right if i play it back skin video editing can board you very easily so today i'm going to it is just a static image to increase the duration of the image you can just click and drag it to make the duration longer or shorter right i'll just keep it maybe this much now we have to go to at the beginning of your image you need to scale it down if you want to have a zoom in motion with the images right so go to effects control panel if you don't see then go to window and from here you have to enable effects control panel this one click here then this panel will appear under effects control panel you will see motion then position and scale if you decrease the scale the image size will decrease right you can just click and drag it to change the scale i'll just keep it this much at the starting of the image now you have to add two different keyframe for position and scale beside position you will see a stopwatch click here and again on the scale stopwatch click here it will add two different keyframe here on this effects control panel right now you have to go few frames ahead maybe there and if you increase the scale it will increase the scale here right now if i play it back you will see there is a motion zoom in motion here on this image can right? board you very easily so today i'm going to show you but that has been stopped here on this point right where the keyframe ends to extend it you need to just click and drag this keyframe at the end of your image right and now if i play it back you will see you very easily so today i'm going to show the size of the image has been changed but now here in the background you can see the image is exposing myself a part of me right but i don't want to show myself when the image is playing so i need to take the image here on this v3 third layer now you need to add a color mat to add a color mat you need to right click here then go to new item from here you can just select color mat click here then click ok select a color that you want i will add white color mat then click ok click and drag it under the image right now if i play it back can board you very easily so today you can I'm going see to show you the image you can is animating right up. again i want to use this image i'm just clicking and dragging it here now i'll extend it so i can just animate it again also i can copy the settings from the previous one so from here i have to copy the motion right click here then click copy then select the second image then go here and right click and then click on paste it will paste the keyframe right if i play it back you'll see the animation has been changed but it is decreasing the size a lot right so i have to click here then from here i have to adjust the size that i want again i have to click on this go to next keyframe and from here i have to adjust the size maybe this much right so if i play it back you will see the image is animating right again i have to copy the color mat i can just press alt and click and drag this here it will copy the color mat i will just adjust the position and the duration so that's it so there is another way to do it in a efficient way that will speed up your workspace suppose you want to use a lot of images so you don't need to copy all the properties again and again you can just make a adjustment layer so click here right click and then go to new item from here click adjustment layer then click ok click and drag it here now i have to go to at the beginning of the adjustment layer i have to go to effects panel search for effects called transform this one under distort click and drag this effect on this adjustment layer now go to at the beginning of your adjustment layer scroll down from the effects control panel you can see under transform there is position and scale add keyframe for position and then for scale then maybe goes few frame ahead and from here you can just increase the scale maybe 
130 then click and drag this keyframe at the end of your adjustment layer now if i play it back you'll see this thing is animating right again if you use this static image here this is the static image it is not animating if i just place this adjustment layer on top of this image it will animate the image right you can see it is animating so wherever you place this adjustment layer from now it will animate the video or photo beneath this layer right again if i show you i want to animate this one i'm just placing this one here and now if i press alt and duplicate this adjustment layer and if i play it back on this video that image has been animated right so that is the way and that is the way you can follow to animate a static image to give it a little bit life i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye